Hello again. The purpose of this little tutorial is to hopefully help students deal with a situation that comes up in accounting quite often where there are two or three or four variables in some process sequence and you're given all but one of those variables and the, the difficulty then is trying to figure out what the unknown variable is. The classic situation is in both financial and managerial accounting where beginning inventory plus purchases less ending inventory equals cost of goods sold where cost of goods sold is as the name implies the cost of actually the cost of the inventory that you actually sold that's used then down in the um, formal part of the income statement where sales less cost of goods sold is gross profit and then you subtract operating expenses and you get to our end result net income but anyway we've got the classic then a plus b minus c equals d situation here where beginning inventory is a purchases is b ending inventory becomes the c variable and cost of gets sold is d let's put some pretend amounts in here and then i'll actually do some excel to allow you to do a shortcut but just for now worry about the variables and and uh, what happens with the mathematics let's say beginning inventory is a hundred dollars um, your purchases are 500 and your ending inventory then is 200 so what we've got there is a hundred dollars of beginning inventory that we began the year with we purchased five hundred dollars worth of merchandise which then becomes six hundred dollars of what we call goods available for sale the sum of those two was what was on the shelf at some point during the year subtracting inventory then the answer would be four hundred we can put that in Excel in a formula by saying E or I'm sorry D cost of goods sold is equal to what's ever in this cell G9 here which is begin inventory plus whatever's in this cell for purchases G10 minus what's ever in this cell G11 representing ending inventory and then if I put those numbers in of course I could just drag them across we've got a check um, figure of four hundred dollars being the let me reformat these to make them look nice format them as currency here and then you can mess with other amounts so let's say you had a thousand dollars worth of purchases instead of cost instead of uh, the five hundred and that means your cost of goods sold would be nine hundred However, up till now we really haven't incorporated the full power of algebra. So let's look at another situation, a little bit more complicated. I've done some work down here where you have beginning inventory as $500 to start. You've got, you know your purchase is at $2,000 and you know the cost of goods sold is $1,900. So essentially C becomes X, my unknown value. So to set up the algebra, I would have 500 plus or A plus 2000 or B minus X representing C equals 1900. And of course, to solve for X, remember in your high school algebra or maybe eighth grade algebra, we would take 500 plus 2000. I like to move negatives to the other side of the fence, so I'm going to make the negative x a positive by moving it to the other side of the equation. Move the 1900 over and it becomes negative 1900. Oops. Equal x, and then solving for x, 500 plus 200, or I'm sorry, 500 plus 2000 is 2500 less 1900, or x equals 600. So that illustrates where we knew A, B, did not know C, and D was given. In algebra, if you remember, any time there's an equation and only one unknown, all you, have to get, all you have to do is get that unknown by itself to be able to solve for its value. 